sometimes. Things happen that are, to you, so impossible that it takes a while for you to register them. At least, that's what I've been told. Like being punched in the face only you don't feel anything until a couple of days later you have a black eye and finally twig that people are looking at you kind of weirdly. This is by no means a good analogy, but I can't describe it. I don't know how. Lisa! Yeah? Has Annabelle sent you a text yet? Not yet. Why? I've been trying to get a hold of her, but she's not replying. If I know Annabelle, her phone probably died. She always forgets to turn her charger on. The <gasps> irony. It would have almost been funny. Hello? Hello? Is someone there? Yes, police, please, an ambulance. There's a suspected suicide at, at Dutchess Park. I am so sorry. I am so screwed with physics. I left everything at home because I thought today was Friday. I wish it was Friday. Don't we all? Oh, please. You're practically the female 17 year old Isaac Newton. Miss Davis isn't going to do anything. Anyone got the time? It's 8.33, and now I'm going to be late for assembly. Great. Now off we go now. Ugh, wait! Good morning, everyone. Is she okay? Hmm? What? I don't know. Usually, she looks a little less morose. I'm not sure. I was going to start the assembly by handing out maths challenge certificates, but there is something we need to address. If it's about the dress code again, I will actually scream. Charlotte's skirt might as well be a thong compared to mine, but I'm taller, so obviously I'm the one breaching the rules, and I can't help the fact that the school badge literally fell off my blazer. Caitlin, relax. I'm sure she hasn't just chained the assembly to call you out on your uniform choices. This morning, I was informed that, that one of our students committed suicide last night. 
I'm sure many of you knew Annabelle Parks in Year 13. Oh my god. She will be remembered as a student who showed great determination and tenacity, and as a wonderful friend. This doesn't... this doesn't make any sense. No, you guys... I talked to her yesterday, she was... Maybe she wasn't though, I just... I mean... Oh my god! <laughs> I'm talking about her in past tense. She's really... She's really gone. <laughs> This one's from Claire and Ryan. They say, isn't it bloody obvious? Martha, Ken and Willow. Haven't heard from them in ages. Bridge? What, so are we just not gonna talk? Is that how it... Maybe you should read some of these. Why bother? They're all sorry for our loss. Tragic, gone too young, sorely missed. You're not alone in this. Everyone's sending us these cards because they care about us. About Annabelle, about you. Don't I have the right to be upset? Yes, yes, of course you do. I just think we shouldn't, what? Isolate ourselves. Our friends, our relatives, they genuinely want to help. Oh, don't they all? Because they're such good people, I'm sure. I'm sure they'll have enough of us after five minutes. These two pound pieces of card from Hallmark aren't gonna change the fact that our daughter, our daughter killed Okay, herself. we don't know that. The police don't know that. And they are not going to bring her back. So stop kidding yourself. I'm not letting you break down, not again. Lisa still needs her parents. She needs her sister. And her sister is dead. Don't you think I'm perfectly aware of this? I'm trying to cope with this, but- But what? I'm not trying? Is that what you were saying? No! I- Please, stop this. Hi girls. When you're finished, Mrs. Stewart would like to see you three in her office. Enjoy your lunch. I hope I didn't cut your lunch too short. How are you all doing, by the way? I know you're friends with her. If you do feel the need to talk to someone, then we've just employed another counsellor. What I wanted to talk to you about was... Um, the local news wants to interview a few people who are close to Annabelle to say a few words about her for the report on TV. The reporters should be coming in on Thursday or Friday. They want us to speak. Do you have to write anything? Or it doesn't have to be much, just... Think about something you'd like to say. Okay, well, that's all I can think of, unless you have any more questions. Okay then, have a good day. Thank you, miss. Lise? Oh, hi dad, didn't see you there. I'm just going out to the shop to get some more milk and eggs. Do you need anything? I think I'm okay. 
Alright, I'll be back in half an hour. See you later. Helen? Yes, sir? Have you seen Inspector Mitchell recently? About half an hour ago. Right. Tell her she needs to see me regarding the Parks case as soon as possible. And if she comes back within the next few minutes, tell her I'll be in the morgue. Oh well, sir. Burgess. Didn't expect you here so soon. And yet, I'm not here soon enough. Listen, Dawn, I understand that you're working on other cases. Four at the moment, sir. And I know they can be time-consuming, but... The Parks girl. Suicide. I know. Uh, don't go throwing that around lightly. Nobody knows for sure. What I mean to say is that it's not ideal. And if it wasn't for the reporters claiming this, that and the other, then I wouldn't be asking this, but... I want you to get the autopsy done by the end of the week. And you're sure you won't get complaints about the other four? Oh. We probably will, but we know the cause of death for the other four, and the newspapers aren't blowing them out of proportion unlike this one. As you wish, sir. I want extensive reports. Examine every wound you find three times, then repeat it. And by this I'm assuming you don't have any leads? I wouldn't say that. We're interviewing the mother and sister who were at the crime scene and forensics are looking at the gun. Still no sign of a phone, but we've read the suicide note she sent to her sister. Fair enough. Any other witnesses? None apart from the mother and sister so far. There must have been someone who heard a gunshot. Duchess Park is usually packed whenever I have the chance to go. Well, we're looking into that too. I'll see you later. Caitlin? <laughs> Be kind. That's what Mrs. Stewart said, but I... I wasn't. You... What do you mean? We were meant to be our friends, our best friends. So why didn't we notice anything? Kate, don't. If I had been a good... But I wasn't! I should have tried to help her. I should have seen that she had depression. I should have been a better person. It's my fault. It's my fault. Hey, come here. Shh. You weren't to know. Maybe she didn't tell me because she didn't trust me. <laughs> no, don't say that. Elle and I, we're upset too. It's more shock than anything. But we can't afford to blame ourselves for what happened. <laughs> I had a fight with her. We can't get along with each other all the time. We've had fights, but I... Um, didn't kill yourself. I don't think anyone would just because of one argument. I was jealous. I'm just paranoid. I thought she was flirting with Lewis. And it's so stupid because there's a chance that if I didn't do anything about it, she'd still be here. And maybe they weren't flirting or anything. Maybe they were just... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> don't be sorry. I just 
hope you can stop blaming yourself for this. Look, they haven't even confirmed it was a suicide. That's what they told us. They haven't had time to investigate properly yet. It's only been a day. I think the bus is gonna be here soon. Yes, this is Dawn. Listen, I'm going to need you to come down to the morgue immediately. No, I'm not finished with the autopsy, but there's been some new information which could change the entire case. Yes. Okay. I'll see you then. Bye.